In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Pantone Connect to add a spot Pantone color to an InDesign document. If you don't have a subscription to Pantone Connect, go ahead to Pantone.com and get one and start with opening an InDesign document or, you know, the existing one or start a new one. As long as there's objects to recolor, go ahead to the Pantone Connect software in this flyout. If you're not already logged in, go ahead and log in. Once you are, hit search. Search for the Pantone color. Please keep in mind that the colors you see on screen won't necessarily be exactly the way they'll look in real life once they're printed. So if you don't have a hard copy Pantone chart, um, just contact us. You can come in and look at ours and then go back and pick the respective color. Um, in this example, I'm going to assume that we've all agreed that Pantone Reflex Blue C is the correct color to be used. So once I search for Reflex, you can see that I see the C color here and there's other options, okay? But C is the color we want. You click on the three dots, add to swatch. Now when I come over to swatches, you'll see that Pantone Reflex Blue is an option. Notice the little spot icon that's very important. Um, the Pantone Connect software will automatically make this color correctly, but if it doesn't, um, or you make it in some other way, that's uh, very important. So just look for that. Now, once something is selected, like this headline text, I can click on text, I can change the color, so on and so forth. Even for grayscale images, as long as it's a flattened grayscale image, I can click on the image and I can recolor it there. Um, then you can export as a PDF and the Pantone spot color will be maintained. I've created another video for exporting um, a, a file as a PDF from InDesign. So see that video for details. Um, that's it. Thank you.